right, I think this is working. Looks like it. Can't see, oh, things are popping up. Um, all right, hi. Uh, hopefully some people are kind of coming in. We can't really see anything yet. Um, maybe let me know if, uh, if you can hear me. I'm sure comments will kind of come in. Oh, there we go. Mary, hi. Uh, everything sounds good. Awesome. Um, well, okay. This is all new to me. I don't do technology, so uh, we'll learn together. Um, all right. Well, hi, everybody. My name is uh, Danielle. Some of you may know me from uh, the Dockyard Gym. I've been working with PSP Halifax since July of last year. Um, so welcome to my apartment. Um, first off, I'm hopefully that is the right way. It looks good on my end. Uh, Isaac, you can let me know if it's the correct way. Um, but I just want to give a shout out to Glenn at Marketing for getting those for us really quickly. Um, they're awesome. It doesn't really go with my decor, um, but it works good for the workout. Um, all right, so some kind of media things that we'll talk about first before getting started while people are kind of filtering in. Um, make sure you're sending some likes, um, writing some comments. Um, oh, awesome, base commander's here. Um, writing some comments, giving us some likes, some loves, some fist bumps, whatever you want, um, just so I know that you're there. Um, I have really bad eyes and I'm not really going to be able to read all the comments. Hi, Jesse. Um, as we go, but I'll try uh, my best. Um, if you want to take pictures or video of yourself doing the workout, hashtag uh, stay safe, stay home, or hashtag flatten the curve, and make sure to tag CFB Halifax in the post so that they can repost it and you can become Insta famous. Um, all right, so going forward, um, let's talk about the workout. So today we're going to be doing full body strength. Um, and some of you may be like, well, how are we going to do full body strength without a gym? Because clearly we're not in a gym um, and don't have weights around. But some of the ways that we can kind of um, make our at-home workouts a little bit harder um, is by playing with some variables such as the reps, um, increasing those or increasing sets. Um, or we can play around with the tempo, which is what we're going to be doing today. So what tempo is, is kind of time under tension. I'm going to get a little bit nerdy before we get started. Um, so that's the length of time that there's stress on the muscle. So if we can create a little bit more stress on the muscle, um, we can hopefully get some adaptation and hopefully some change. So that's what we're going to work on for today. So all you need, uh, as you may have seen, is a backpack with some weights in it. So I have my PSP backpack here today, and there is books in it. Uh, Mary can't call me out for not putting anything in it. Um, so hopefully everybody puts some stuff in theirs. Or go ahead and grab anything else around your house that might be weighted. Um, so like some water jugs, some soup cans, um, a child or a, an animal of some sort. Um, but you can also do body weight. So don't feel like you need to do uh, this portion weighted. Um, with that being said, listen to your body for this workout. I'm going to give modifications and progressions for everything, so don't feel like you need to be doing what I'm doing. Just kind of listen to your body and um, my pillow matches the poster. Thanks very much. Um, just listen to kind of um, how you feel and regress the exercise if you need to. Again, this is your workout. You're at home. You should feel nice and comfortable and do what feels right for you. All right. So making sure that we have our weights. You can also have a mat. I have a, a yoga mat back here. Um, if you don't want to be rolling around on the floor, not that we're going to be rolling around, but um, if you have a carpet, that's fine too. Um, and also some water. You can see backwards. You have some water over there as well. Uh, you might be getting a little bit thirsty later on, so keeping it nice and close by would be great. Um, and also make sure that you have an awesome smile on your face because I know that you're all super excited to be doing this. If you've ever come to any of my classes, you know that they're full of like fun exercises and really dry humor. So that's going to be happening the entire time during this class as well. There's going to be no difference. So let's see if there's any cool comments I can write. So that looks great. Thanks, Josh. 
took after you. Perfect. All right. So everything seems to be going well. So let's start with our warm up. All right. So making sure that we have some space. We're going to start with a few movements just to get our body going. Let's start with some reverse lunges to start. Hopefully you can all see me. My head's not cut off. We're just going to start with some reverse lunges with an overhead reach. We did this with Jeff yesterday. So it's kind of, uh, you already know what you're doing. So we're just going to make sure foot goes back, going into a lunge, arms going overhead, reaching towards the sky. You can make this active by keeping that foot off the ground, but you don't have to. Pressing through front foot, coming to standing. We're going to do that with the opposite foot, arms overhead, pressing through front foot, coming back to standing. Do this again. Good. We just want to get the body moving, get some blood flow to those muscles. Good. Let's do that one more time on each side. And then we're going to change it up. And last one. Good. All right. Still doing some lunges, but we're going to go side to side. So standing straight in your mat, we're just going to lunge towards the side, keeping the chest up nice and tall, getting a nice stretch in our inner thigh, pressing through that front, coming back to standing. We can see a lot of legs coming in, that's good. Again, pushing through, coming back to standing. Good. And one more on either side. And last one. Good. Now we're just going to work on a few air squats. So just to get the hips a little bit moving, I think a lot of you are a little sore from Jeff's workout yesterday. So let's move our hips a bit. So we're just going to do an air squat, dropping down as far as we can, keeping our chest up nice and tall, unlocking the hips first, pressing through midfoot and heel to stand tall. Show you from the side. All right, next we're just gonna kind of move the quads around a little bit. So planting the right foot down first, grabbing on to the left foot, bringing the heel up towards the glutes, squeezing the quad, squeezing the glutes, and then switching to the other foot. We don't wanna hold these movements for too long. We also wanna make sure that we're keeping that knee pointed towards the ground rather than opening up the hips, keeping the torso staffed. Let's do one more on either side. You never realize how awkward it is to do a workout with no music on until you're doing it. So I hope you all have music on and not just listening to me in dead air. I think I said the last time and I'm still going. Next, we're gonna go onto the ground. We're gonna go onto our back, feet just in line with our hips. We're just gonna do a few glute bridges just to get our hips moving a little bit more working on the hinge pattern, pressing our feet in towards the ground as we rise our hips up, squeezing the glutes at the top, and then coming back down. Just a few glute bridges here, just to get those hips moving. Good. Let's do one more here. Nice big squeeze, pushing into the floor, and then come down. All right, working a little bit on the upper body. Again, we've done this twice with Emily and Jeff, so you should all be pros at this one. We're going to do the inch -er. So standing at the edge of your mat, we're just going to hinge over and inch our hands out towards the plank position, staying nice and tall, and then our feet are going to follow. Turning around and doing it again. This is a good full body stretch, getting all the muscles moving, joints moving. If you need to bend the knees to get yourself up, that's okay as well. If you can't get down onto the floor, you can also do this on your couch, or you can do it against a wall. Again, like I said, listen to your body. Don't do anything that doesn't feel great. Good. This is the last one here. 
Good. Next, we're going to do a few push-ups into down dog. So it's kind of like a yoga pose with a little bit of strength. So all you're doing, I'll show you the first part and then you can kind of modify it as we go. So all that is, is we're setting up going down into a push-up. As we come up, we're pressing into down dog. And then flowing through that, coming back to the plank, push up, down dog. If we need to modify this by going onto the feet or the knees, that's okay. So pushing up and then pushing into down dog. Coming back to the knees and pressing into down dog. We just want to get our shoulders moving because we will be doing some push-ups in our exercises today. Let's do one more. All right, so I'm sure everybody is nice and warm. I'm gonna grab some water, and check on the comments. So make sure, hi Ashley, Jeff, Jason, awesome stuff. Thanks Jason. Um, all right, oh, Dave is working out live today. Awesome, hi Dave. Um, so we're gonna get started on the workout. So I'll give you a few seconds to probably go get your equipment if you need to, and I'm going to take some water. But what we're doing today is going to be two different circuits. Each circuit is going to have three exercises in it. Um, and we're going to go through them twice each, hopefully. Um, so how I'm going to do it is we're going to kind of, um, I'm going to explain the exercises as we go through them. Just, just want to explain all of them and then by the time we get to that first one, everybody forgets. Oh, my grandma's here. Um, once we get to the first one, I don't want anybody to forget it. Um, so we'll explain the first one, do it, explain the next one, do that one, explain the third, do it. And then once we get to the second round, you're all gonna be pros and we're gonna be able to just go through the whole thing and then we'll learn another circuit. So let's do our first movement. So grabbing your weights or body weight, whatever you feel comfortable with, we're going to do squats to start. So like I said, we're working on tempo today. So what tempo is, is we're slowing down that movement and possibly creating a pause. So how we're going to do it, I'll show you without weight to start, is we're doing the squat. So how I want to see the squat, not that I can see you, but hopefully you're going to follow along. I want feet just around hip width apart or wherever you feel comfortable squatting. We're gonna unlock the hips first, dropping our hips down as far as we can in that squat, keeping the chest up nice and tall. If you have a logo on your shirt, I wanna be able to see it. Pressing through midfoot and heel, we want our hips and our chest to rise at the same time. I don't wanna see the weight pulling you forward and your hips coming up first. So think about showing me your chest keeping it nice and proud and pressing through the floor as we stand up to extend the hips. So what we're going to be doing for tempo is we're going to go down for three seconds, pause for two seconds, and then come back up. So in the pause, so we're going down one, two, three. I want you to stay active in this movement. So I don't want you to bottom out and just kind of hang out for two seconds. This should be kind of a tough two seconds and then pressing right up. So if we use our weight, you can kind of hug it. If you have a backpack, if you want, you want to put it on your back, feel free to do so, whatever you feel comfortable with. Like I said, this is your workout. We're going to do this for 45 seconds. I'm going to count your tempo so you can't cheat. So listen as I count, hold until I tell you to get back up. All right. So we're going to go for 45 seconds. If everybody's ready, we're going to get going. I'm hoping you're all ready because I can't tell. So let's turn my phone back on turned off. All right, we're going in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, hold, one, two, and back up. Good, just like that. I'll come to the side. One, two, three, one, two, up. Good. One, two, three, hold, don't bottom out, and come back. Good. One, two, three, hold that position, and back up. Good. One, two, three, hold, 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 and back up. Good, I made you hold a little bit longer. Almost there, one, 
two, three, hold, hold, and up. Good, you're doing awesome. One, two, three, hold that position, and back up. Good, almost there, we can do one more. One, two, three, hold, and back up. Good job, timer's going on. All right, so that's movement number one. You did awesome, I'm sure. Not that I can see you. But next movement we're gonna be doing is a push-up. But we're only gonna be focusing on the negative portion, so going down. So we're gonna go down for three seconds and then come back up. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Um, I only wanna be focusing on the descent. So for the push-up standard, I want everybody to make sure that their wrists are just underneath their shoulders. Um, if we have any wrist issues, you can do this from the fists, or you can do it from an elevated position, so like on your couch, or at a coffee table, um, or at something that's stable for you. But I still want you to be focusing on the negative portion. So, wrists right underneath my shoulders. I'm creating a nice long line from my shoulders all the way down to my heels. My butt's not in the air or dropping towards the ground. I'm gonna go nice and slow, keep my elbows close to the body. One, two, three, all the way to the ground. You can come up from the knees if you want. Get set back up. One, two, three, and come back up. You can do the whole thing from the knees if you want as well. One, two, three, and then come back up. As long as you're still creating one nice long line from the knees all the way to the shoulders. So, I think we're all ready to go. If you want to make this a little bit harder, feel free to put your back back on. Um, I'm not going to make it harder. I'm just going to go with this one for today. But if you want to make it harder, go ahead. This one we're only going to do for 30 seconds, so not 45. So let's get ready. Get into that high plank position. Going in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, all the way down. Coming back up. Good. One, two, three. And back up. One, two, three. Good job. You want to make sure those elbows are staying nice and close. One, two, three. And back up. One, two, three. Good job. Almost there. One, two, three. Almost there. I'm glad you didn't make it harder. One, two, three. And a little arm and off. Good job. All right, so that's exercise number two. Next one is a plank. But we're gonna take our weight as a point of contact. So what we're gonna do is some plank taps. So we're gonna set ourselves up with our weight just a little bit of a distance away. All we're gonna be doing is tapping the bag while we're holding the plank. 30 second hold on this one. Not going for tempo on this exercise, but I don't want you rushing through it. I want you to really focus on shifting your weight from side to side before tapping your bag. So if we do this from the wrists, again, same as the push-up protocol, wrists right underneath our shoulders. If you need to make a bigger base of support, just spread the feet a little bit wider or drop the knees down towards the ground. Either way, set up the weight on the opposite hand, tap your bag, and come back. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. So what I don't want to see is kind of reaching side to side and your hips moving. You'll stay nice and stable, nice and solid. All right, going for 30 seconds. Going in three, two, one, and go. So remember, no time on this one. I just want you to be nice, slow, and controlled. Shifting the weight side to side. Good. Making sure that our belly button is pulled towards the spine. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. We are almost there. Keep going. And drop, good job. Oh, all right, I don't know about you, but I'm hot. I didn't open a window, so grab some water. That's round one done. We're gonna do it again, except I'm not gonna explain. We're just gonna go straight into the next movement. So, we're going to take a quick 60 second break. I'll check some of the comments. <sighs> All 
Oh, Tammy, hi. Miss you too. Oh, all right. I think that was a long enough break. I think we're all ready to go again. Yeah. Send me some likes if you're doing good. I know it's going to be see them halfway through, but hopefully everybody's doing great. All right. So going back up to the top, we're starting with our squats. So grab your weight. We're going for 45 seconds on this one. Holding it nice and tight or placing it on your back. Get ready. Going in three. Oh, there's all the legs. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Hold in that position, not dropping. Back up. Good. One, two, three. Hold, 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 and press. Good. Making sure that we're keeping that chest up nice and tall. Three, and hold, and good. Pressing through midfoot and heel. You're doing awesome. One, two, three. Hold a position, and good. One, two, three. You're doing awesome. Hold, 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 and go. Almost. One, two, three. Hold that position. You're doing awesome. And up. Good. One, two, three. Hold, 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 and back up. Almost there. You do one more. One, two, three. Hold, 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 and good. Awesome. Straight into our push-ups. Not much of a rest for this one. Remember, whatever modification you want to do, feel free. We're going to go for 30 seconds on this one, and I'm counting to go down. Going in, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Right, not good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Making sure both elbows are nice and close to the body. Two, three. Almost there. One, two, three. Good. Two more, I'm sure. Three. All the way down. One, two, three. And that's it. Good job. All right. Again, plank taps. This is our last time doing this one. And then we're going on to circuit two. All right. So... Make it a little bit further if you want to make it a little bit harder. Going for 30 seconds again. Going in three, two, one, and go. Good. So shifting your weight from side to side before we tap our back. Make sure you're breathing through all this and when anybody holding the breath. Almost. Belly button spine. Three, two, one, and down. Good job. You're doing awesome. I think I'm doing okay. I don't normally teach and actually do the workout. I'm usually there coaching and correcting, but I can't really coach and correct today because I can't see anybody. But we're all doing awesome. All right. So circuit number two is coming up. Let's check some more comments. Minute, love that burn. Uh -huh. All right. So, oh, look at that hair. Circuit number two. We're doing great for time. Uh, circuit number two, we're focusing on hinging and overhead presses. So if you didn't notice the last one, we did squats and horizontal pressing. This time we're gonna go overhead. So. First movement is a glute marcher. You did something similar in Mary's uh, warm up, which felt like a workout. Um, so we're gonna be doing that, but we're gonna use the bag in this one to make it a little bit more challenging. If you don't wanna use the bag, that's okay. So again, I'll show the movement, then we'll do it. This one isn't gonna have a tempo, but I want you to focus on being nice, slow and controlled on this one not going super quick because if you do you're going to lose your hips and they're going to fall down so for this movement i'll show you without the bag to start but just on the ground like our warm-up pushing our feet into the ground sending the hips up we're going to keep our hips up flexing the toes towards the shin we're going to march by keeping a 90 90 in our legs not letting the hips drop as we do so and then coming back down. So again, keeping those hips nice and tall, squeezing the glutes, 
and coming up. To make this a little spicier today, what we're doing is grabbing onto our weight. We're going to be holding it overhead and doing the same thing. So being nice, slow, control movement. Don't let those hips drop. If mine drop, feel free to call me out. I'm sure they will. And we're doing that for 45 seconds. All right? So grab your weights. Grab a last sip of water if you need it. We're going to go for 45 seconds. And we are ready. Going in three, two, one, and go. 45 seconds. Nice, slow and controlled movement, keeping those hips nice and tall, creating one nice long line from your shoulders up towards your knees, keeping your shoulders away from the ears. They're not friends. They don't want to be close. Squeezing the glutes, not letting the hips drop, pressing your weight up towards the sky. Good. Doing awesome. Keep those toes flexed. I just felt mine fall. Keep going. Ooh, that's a long timer. Make sure you're breathing through this. Oh, there we go. That was a long timer. All right. Next one, overhead press with our bag. So we're going to do this kneeling. Um, one, because it is a little bit harder because your base of support is kind of taken away. Also, if I did that standing, you wouldn't be able to see anything because of the camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna front rack our weights and press overhead. So if you wanted to do the movements body weight and you didn't grab anything, go grab some cans if you want really quickly, or just practice the movement of pressing. So we're not gonna be going slow as we come up. We're gonna be going slow as we come down today. So we're gonna explode up and then slowly bring it down. So what that's gonna look like is keeping the weight just around our chest. We're gonna keep our torso stacked. So shoulders over hips, over knees, athletic stance with our toes, so curled under. Think about squeezing your glutes so that your hips come forward and we're stacking our torso. All we're gonna do, press overhead, head comes through the arms, Think about getting your ears right by your biceps. They have a little story they want to tell you, and they want to get close. But make sure that we're keeping our ribs down towards our hips, not flaring open like this. See that arch you just created? So staying stacked the whole time. And then we're going to come down. One, two, three, towards the chest. Back up. One, two, three, and back up. Okay? So try to maintain that alignment. We're going for 30 seconds. Get your weight started, or up towards your chest, sorry. Going in three, two, one, and go. So quick, up towards the ceiling. One, two, three, and back up. Good, one, two, three. My strap is in my face. Three, good. Up, one, two, three, coming back down. Pressing up, keeping those ribs down. Three, back up. One, two, three, and press. Good, one, two, three, and up. One more, one, two, three, just for good measure. Good job. All right, next one. Again, we're working on the core. As you can kind of see, we did core on the last piece as well. So we're gonna work on our rotating muscles of our trunk, so our elite. That's what's going to help us today. What we're doing again is kneeling. So as you can see, my ooh, squeak on my floor. As you can see, my hips. Kind of like there we go. My hips are facing forward towards the camera, so face them towards me. Don't let them open up towards the side of the room. We're going to do some chops. So from low to high with your bag. So we're not chopping wood. We're chopping some abs. Have some dry humor. Got one there. All right. <laughs> So what this movement's going to look like, again, no tempo for this one, but again, I want you to be nice, slow, controlled movements. So keeping the hips squared, facing the front of the room. We're going to go from low up to high and coming back down, but only moving from that torso. We don't need the whole body moving for this, and I want you to kind of follow the weight with your eyes the whole time. So just up towards kind of eye level and 
then back down. We don't need to open up and twist everything as we're throwing the weight overhead. Everything should be controlled, okay? I'm gonna do this 30 seconds per side, so a little bit longer, but no tempo, just nice, slow, controlled movements. So going in three, two, one, and go. So controlled, good. Exhale, as you bring the weight overhead. Good, controlling through the trunk, belly button to spine, following that weight with the eyes. You might feel this in other muscles as well. Might be contracting. I know I feel this everywhere right now. Oh, good job. 30 seconds. Let's switch. So we're switching knees. Oh, let me turn this off. Switching knees and switching sides. So right knee should be coming forward now. Unless you were doing the opposite side. We're going for 30 seconds again. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Following that weight. Good job. Just think we're almost done. We only have one more round after. Doing awesome. Good job. 30 seconds done. All right. Oh, plenty of time. So we have one more round. Going back to the glute marchers. Take some water like I'm going to. I want to stay hydrated. I might have to open a window because I'm a little hot. Hopefully you won't hear all the construction going on in my house. All right. So send some more likes if you're enjoying this or if you're not, I get it. But hopefully everybody's enjoying it and having a good time. I only have one more round left. So you're almost free to go and do what else you have to do today. But we're going back to the glute marchers, no rest in between, no explanation. So we're going right back to it. There's all the likes, very delayed. Awesome. All right, so grab your weights. One last sip of water before we get started. Glute marchers to start, some nice controlled movements, not letting those hips drop. Get my straps out of the way. All right, going in three, two, one, and go. Arms up towards the sky, hips up. Good. Making sure we're squeezing those glutes. Good job. Almost there. Pressing that weight up towards the sky. Nice, slow, controlled movements here. Squeezing those glutes. Shoulder the weight. And done. Good job. Last time you ever have to do that. Unless somebody else does it. But Next one. Overhead. So remember, keeping those ribs down. Not flaring up. Keeping the torso stacked, belly button towards spine. This should be kind of an all body movement, not just your upper body. Going again in three, two, one, and go. Ooh, there we go. Pressing up overhead. One, two, three, and back up. Good. One, two, three. Straight overhead. One, two, three. Exhale as we come up. One, two, three, and press. Good, almost there, 10 seconds. Three, one, two, three, good job. One, one, two, three, one more. One, two, three, Whew, good job. Last movement here, twice, but still the last movement. Starting with the left knee forward, centering my hips. Doesn't look like I'm centered, but I am. It's the computer, so we're going for 30 seconds each side, low to high. Going in three, two, one, and go. Good, nice control movements. 
Exhale as we come overhead. Good. Keeping control of that torso. Good, almost there. Five more seconds. And down, good. Switching sides, no rest on this one. Going straight into it. Three, two, one, and go. Center those hips. Good, I don't know about you, but I'm glad I didn't do an extra workout before this one. Good job. Almost there. Ten more seconds. And we're done. Good. And, and done. Oh my goodness. You all did so good. I'm sure, I can't see you, but I'm sure everybody did amazing. Grab some water. Good. Yeah. I'm going to look through some of the warm up is code for mini workout before the workout. Yes, Mary. Yes, it is. Oh. All right. So good job, everybody. I think you all did amazing. I'm sure you were all fantastic. And I'm glad you all came out today. Um, make sure to grab some water. We're going to do a cool down. We'll have some time to do some stretches. So we got to stretch after that. I know I do. Found my weak arm, Sherry. We all have one side that's weaker than the other, for sure. I could definitely felt that as well. Um, so let's find some space on our mat. Keep your water close if you want some extra water. We're just gonna go through a few stretches before I send you on your way for the rest of your day. All right, so let's start with our right leg down on the ground, grabbing onto our left hamstring, just onto the belly, pulling back. Heel up towards the sky, just as far as you can go. If this is your range of motion, that's okay. Just try to lengthen out that knee as much as possible as you go. Try to slow down your breath here. Try to get it back down to normal. I know my heart rate is pretty jacked up right now. Good. Next, we're just going to take that knee, give ourselves a nice little... Hug into the side body. You all deserve today. Again, slowing down that breathing a little bit more. Right, taking that left ankle, placing it on top of the right knee. We're going to either stay here. You can get comfortable here if you can see kind of what I'm doing. Stay comfortable here or place your hands through that little triangle that you made and pull back for a nice little glute stretch. You can move the ankle around a little bit here if you want. Get some movement in that joint. You can go in circles. You can write the alphabet if you want. You can write uppercase, lowercase. Cursive if you're fancy. Okay, I told you there's a lot of dry humor in this. All right, going to the other side. Again, left leg down, pulling the belly of the hamstring on the right side now. Heel up towards the sky. You're definitely probably going to feel tight in one side versus the other, just like you might have felt weaker on one side over the other. Good. Again, bringing that knee in, little side body hug. So these are really good times, too, that we can spend um, focusing on those imbalances from left and right. So if you feel like you have weakness on one side over the other, we have nothing but time to spend on those weaknesses, so feel free to work on those, whether it's stretching or strength. I know I'm working on my balance during this time. All right, bringing the right ankle onto the left knee. Again, if you feel comfortable here, stay here, or going through that little triangle we made, pulling back, moving the ankle on this foot. And little circles if you want. Circles aren't very good on this one. All right, coming up to seated. 
just eating however you feel comfortable. We're just going to do a nice little twist, so left hand onto right knee and just twisting the side body. Right hand behind torso. Just stretch as far as you can without any pain or anything. Good. Switching to the other side. Nice, slow, controlled movement here. Good. Clasping our hands behind our back, pulling up towards the sky, opening up that chest. Good. Hands clasped together, pushing out towards me, opening up the back. Good. Now, if there's anything else you kind of want to stretch, feel free. Again, this is your time. I'm going to kind of just say thank you, everybody, for coming today. Hopefully, you took um, some of what I said and will apply it to your own home workout. So, creating some variety in your body weight movements if you don't have access to a gym or getting creative and using weights around your house. Please don't grab your couch and hurt yourself, but try to just make it fun. We're, we're going to be working for a little bit, so why don't we entertain ourselves and just get moving? So, not used to push up Sandra. Good job. Um, but, anyways, I'm going to be sticking around. Uh, so, if you have any comments or want to say um, anything, like, what you will want to see from us, so that we can hopefully um, add that in with what we have. Um, but, thank you all for coming apartment today and joining me and I hope you all have a day. All right. Bye.